When I first saw Gishan Creek almost 40 years ago, it had been severely degraded. It had been stripped of streamside vegetation, water quality was poor. Uh, it had been converted to almost a lifeless drainage canal. But in the years since, there's been a remarkable effort by groups like the BCIT Fish and Wildlife Program, the Rivers Institute, various community groups, the City of Burnaby, all have worked together to try and bring this stream back. And we have made some remarkable progress and it really has become, in many ways, a classic river restoration story. We've also tried to enhance in-stream habitat for fish uh, and all of that has really come together to the point where several years ago we could actually re-establish a cutthroat trout population for the first time in several decades and those trout are doing very very well. This area is now a wonderful refuge, a place that staff and students and nearby residents spend time along and to see a stream like this come back I think really is a, a sign of hope. I come here and I kind of restore my sense of peace and calm and groundedness by listening to the natural sounds of the ducks and the wind in the trees. The ducks. I love the ducks. Actually, everybody loves the ducks. I think about the fact that Gishon Creek used to be culverted and that it used to be basically no more than a drainage ditch and now what a beautiful natural location it is. Gishon Creek is an amazing example of urban stream restoration. Uh, and I think it really highlights how important that kind of thing is to the quality of life that we all enjoy in our communities. Uh, I think Gishon Creek also shows that even when a stream is severely damaged, if a plan is put in place and if you stick with that over time, that you can in fact turn things around. So I don't think we should ever give up on any waterway.